Today back then, what happened today in modern history? Let's get most smartest. In 1492, not only did Spain give Columbus permission to sail to the New World today, but they also announced they will expel all Jews from the country. In 1563, Jews are expelled from France by order of King Charles VI. In 1789, George Washington is sworn in as the first U.S. president. In 1798, the U.S. Department of the Navy is created. In 1803, French Chancellor Robert Livingston and U.S. President James Monroe sign the Louisiana Purchase Treaty in Paris, which doubles the size of the United States at a cost of $15 million. A heck of a deal. In 1857, San Jose State University is created. In 1859, today, the first installment of Charles Dickens' A Tale of Two Cities is published in the literary periodical All the Year Round and concludes on November 26. In 1864, New York becomes the first state to charge a fee for a hunting license. In 1871, in what becomes known as the Camp Grant Massacre in Arizona Territory, white and Mexican adventurers kill 100 44 Apache. In 1885, Henry Lee Higginson starts the popular music series with the Boston Symphony, which evolves into the successful Boston Pops Orchestra in 1900. In 1889, the first national U.S. holiday is celebrated on the centennial of George Washington's inauguration. In 1897, English physicist J.J. Thompson announced that he had discovered the electron. In 1900, American railroad engineer Casey Jones, who was later made famous in song, died in a train wreck in Vaughan, Mississippi. Yep, he was real. Also in 1900, the Hawaiian Organic Act is enacted by the U.S. Congress, making Hawaii a U.S. territory. In 1904, the ice cream cone makes its debut at the St. Louis World's Fair. I don't know about you other ice cream lovers, but this is almost a holiday to me and my family. In 1911, Portugal approves female suffrage. In 1916, during World War I, Germany and its allies become the first countries to use daylight savings time. In 1925, the automaker Dodge Brothers Incorporated is sold to Dillon, Reed & Company for $146 million plus $50 million to go to charity. In 1933, the great Willie Nelson is born. In 1937, Filipino women are asked whether they should be extended the right to suffrage. Of course, over 90% would vote yes. I wonder what the Philippine government thought the answer was going to be. In 1939, at the New York World's Fair, the National Broadcasting Company made the first public television broadcast in the United States. Also in 1939, the New York World's Fair opens. In 1940, Air New Zealand makes its inaugural flight. It later becomes the first airline in the world to boil hot water in flight to offer customers hot tea and coffee. In 1943, the Bergen-Balsen concentration camp for Jews is created. In 1945, Adolf Hitler commits suicide today. In the end, he was a coward as well. Also in 1945, the show Arthur Godfrey Time begins a 27-year run on CBS radio. In 1945 as well, the concentration camp Munchen Oleg is liberated. They sure did have a lot of concentration camps. And hey, here's another one. Also in 1945, the Soviet Army liberates Ravensbrück concentration camp. In 1947, the Boulder Dam is renamed in honor of U.S. President Herbert Hoover. Guess what the new name was? In 1952, Mr. Potato Head becomes the first toy advertised on television. In 1961, the first shuttle flights between Washington, D.C., Boston, and New York City begin. Also in 1961, Bobby Lewis releases his song, Tossin' and Turnin', and it becomes the Billboard Song of the Year. In 1966, Anton LaVey founds the Church of Satan in San Francisco, California. In 1973, Paul McCartney releases his Red Rose Speedway album, which includes the hit single, My Love. In 1976, Silly Love Songs is released by Paul McCartney and Wings, 
and becomes the Billboard Song of the Year. In 1980, Barnum opens at the St. James Theater in New York City for 854 performances. In 1981, at the 16th Academy of Country Music Awards, Barbara Mandrell and George Jones win. In 1982, actress Kirsten Dunst is born. In 1983, American singer-songwriter The Great Muddy Waters passes away. In 1987, New York Islander Mike Bossy plays his final NHL game. In 1988, at 4.5 miles long, the then largest banana split ever is made along Market Street in Sillings Grove, Pennsylvania. Yes, a bigger one has been made since, but I wonder where they got a banana that long. Also in 1988, at the 33rd Eurovision Song Contest, a young Celine Dion wins for Switzerland. In 1989, Italian director Sergio Leone, who popularized the Spaghetti Western, died in Rome. Also in 1989, critics Siskel and Ebert filmed their 500th TV movie review show. In 1989 as well, something called the World Wide Web is first launched in the public domain by CERN scientist Tim Berners-Lee. In 1992, tonight was the final episode of The Cosby Show on NBC TV. In 1993, tennis great Monica Seles is stabbed by an obsessed fan and doesn't play for the next two years. In 1995, Blood Brothers closes at the Music Box Theater in New York City after 839 performances. Also in 1995, after 120 years, the last 15 ANS department stores closed today. In 1997, 42 million people watch Ellen DeGeneres publicly declare that she is gay. Also in 1997, at the Rock for the Rainforest benefit concert, performers include, come on, say it with me, Sting, Elton John, James Taylor, Stevie Wonder, Lyle Lovett, Bobby McFerrin, Bonnie Raitt, and Sean Colvin. In 2004, the U.S. media releases graphic photos of American soldiers abusing and sexually humiliating Iraqi prisoners at Abu Ghraib prison in Baghdad. Also in 2004, the awesome movie Mean Girls, starring Lindsay Lohan and written by Tina Fey, is released today. In 2007, German Chancellor Angela Merkel officially hands over the Waldseemuller map to the U.S. Library of Congress. It is the oldest known document to name America. In 2008, illusionist David Blaine sets a new Guinness World Record for holding his breath underwater for 17 minutes, four and a half seconds on The Oprah Winfrey Show. In 2012, in what is considered the biggest match in the English Premier League's history, Manchester City defeats Manchester United 1-0. In 2018, the world's oldest known spider, a female trapdoor, dies after being stung by a wasp in Western Australia. The spider was 43 years old. I hate those darn wasps. And lastly, in 2021, Australia strands 8,000 of their own citizens by announcing a ban on people returning from India, and they make it a criminal offense to return. Hey, thanks for watching today's episode. I really appreciate it. There's more right there in front of you, and make sure that you go out on my channel and look up others. Talk to you tomorrow.